Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video I want to go over something I did not cover in a video I did a couple weeks ago on the door closing of a Frigidaire top freezer refrigerator. I did a little video where I showed you how to adjust the doors, how to adjust the doors to close the gap that you might have when the door starts to sag. So I'm going to cover that in this video, but before I do that, I want to go over an update on the stereo after I've used it for about a week. Now as far as the stereo goes, I don't have anything to complain about as far as the sound. It sounds really good. I'm completely happy with that. However, I'm not happy with the way it looks inside the toolbox. It's a little dull on the front. So what I think I'm going to do is take that little thin piece of wood that I used in the front to mount the stereo in. I'm going to take that off, use a piece of metal, and paint it with some gloss paint to make it match the toolbox a little bit better. So whenever I do that, I'll be sure to show you guys. Now back to the step that I forgot to show you in the video a couple weeks ago. Now we got the gap taken care of because of the door was sagging, but we didn't adjust the level of the refrigerator so that the doors actually swing closed properly. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Now the desired effect here is when you open up the door, say halfway or a little bit further and let go, the door should go closed on its own. Now you can see this one here kind of goes open and that's not what we want or it just stays in place. So this is saying that there's something going on with the level of the refrigerator and that's what we're gonna fix. Now the first thing we're gonna check is the refrigerator's level from side to side. So I got a level on top and if we take a look at the bubble, we can see it's going to the left. So the right side of the refrigerator sits a lot lower than the left side. So we need to raise the right side up. That's one of our problems. Now let's check the level front to back. Now with the level going from front to back here, if we take a look at the bubble, the refrigerator is standing perfectly straight up and down. With the refrigerator standing perfectly straight up and down from front to back, that's not exactly the desired effect that we want. We want the refrigerator to lean slightly back and that's going to serve a couple purposes. That's going to help the door when you have it open at least halfway or maybe a little bit more, it's going to help the door swing closed on its own. And also with the defrost water. Now if the refrigerator is too far to one side or if it's tilted forward, and even some cases if it's standing straight up and down, the defrost water won't go down the drain tube in the back of the freezer compartment. Sometimes it might run to the front or run to, to the side and you'll have a big sheet of ice on the bottom of your freezer. And that's usually what the uh, the problem is your refrigerator is completely out of level. So let's get that adjusted. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is the grill. And what we need to adjust is behind this grill. So we're going to take that off. So we'll go ahead and pop, pop this off. Now on some refrigerators, right here there'll be a 3 8 bolt. And that'll raise the roller up and down on each side. So you have one over here and one here. This refrigerator does not have that. It has a roller that's fixed in position, but then it has a little leg that you can thread down to make it stand up taller to raise the front. And the same thing with the other side. So to level this refrigerator, we're going to have to lower the legs on each side to get it where we want it. Now because the refrigerator leans to the right, first, first adjustment we're going to make is to raise this side of the refrigerator up so it's level from side to side. So let's get that leg adjusted first and then we can make adjustments on the other side to tilt it back just a little bit. Now what I'm going to use here is a roll of tape and a little pry bar and you want to use something underneath the refrigerator to keep your finger from getting smashed in case what you're prying with slips out. So you don't want to hold up on the pry bar put your finger under there because it could slip off then you'll have a smashed finger. This is just like putting jack stands under your car when you're working on it. You never just want to trust the jack. So now that we got that up in the air I can reach under here almost
and I got that leg spun down just a little bit so this side of the refrigerator should sit a little higher. And now you can see there's a little bit bigger gap on this side. So let's check the level from side to side on the refrigerator. Okay, so here's the level going from side to side on the refrigerator with the adjustment we made on the right leg, but the only problem is now is the left side isn't really touching the ground so well, so if I shake the refrigerator, it's a little wobbly. So now we need to lower that left leg to sturdy the machine up, and then we'll check the level one more time. So we'll open the door back up here, and you can see we have a little bit of a, a wobble on this left side. So we'll go ahead and raise this up a little bit. Put our jack stand underneath there. And we'll spin that leg down a little bit. And that feels pretty solid. Let's check the level. Alright, so if we take a look at the bubble now, we're just about centered between the lines. I'm gonna call this close enough because when I start adjusting it, then it starts getting wobbly again. So I'm gonna leave it right where it's at. It's between the lines and this house is by far not level anyway. So this is pretty good. Now let's check front to back. Now I went ahead and put the level on front to back. And if we look at the bubble, if I can get my camera to focus here, just the, the front of the refrigerator is definitely higher than the back so it's definitely leaned back just a little bit so let's check the uh let's check the doors all right so now that we got it pretty well leveled where we want it we open up the doors about halfway or so and let go door goes closed on its own and that's what you'll want whenever you're level in the refrigerator slightly back so the door goes closed on its own Okay, don't go anywhere just yet. There's something at the end of the video that I want to show you guys for the five or six people who watch my videos every week. I think you guys know who you are, but I want to show you something I'm working on. But before I do that, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. And thanks for watching. Now let me show you what else I'm working on. All right, so what we're looking at right here is a 1989 Jeep Where's it say it at? It's an Islander. And it used to have a 4.2 liter carbureted V6, but somebody did a 4.0 HO swap on it. So we got some wiring to figure out under here. Got a couple of rust spots to fix. Overall, this thing's in pretty good shape. We do have a floor pan that's gonna need replaced and it's gonna need a lot of love. He's deciding on what color he's going to paint it. We need a new grill for it. It was all together. This is how far I've gotten stripping it down right now. So we got the hood, all kinds of stuff torn off of it right now. All the reservoirs, parts, just parts everywhere down here. Now I am not a mechanic or anything like that. So I am learning a lot of this as I go. And if you guys want some updates, let me know. And every once in a while as we make some progress on this, I'll kind of give you a, like an update. But this is my son's project. He was really excited to drive this thing. He did get to drive it whenever we first got it, but it ran a little rough. And it definitely wasn't safe because of some of the the leaf spring shackles and stuff like that were in pretty shitty shape. And the, the frame was in pretty crappy shape in the back behind the tires. But once we get this thing stripped down and cleaned up and put back together... It'll be a nice vehicle for him to ride. And that's what I'm working on. Thanks again for watching.